I addressed him. I told him who I was. I offered to uh, answer any questions or get him in contact with the owners of the company. And he just keeps filming my tag, my VIN number, so I'll follow him to the end of the earth. I'm Tim Griffin. I represent the Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development. Once again, I'm Timothy Griffin with the Page and Chamber and Economic Development. Okay, I'm Timothy Griffin with the Page and Chamber of Commerce. I represent the industries. I'm Timothy Griffin with the Page and Chamber of Commerce. Is there anything we can help you with? Yeah, get the, yeah go ahead and get the police now. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, he's filming inside here, and we do not know who he is. He's filming our industries. If you'd like to call Dean down at the police department. Excuse my grandfather. He's on. He's on the wrong medication right now. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I'm... <laughs> We're a sweet little community here. Hey, can I help you? What are you doing? Can I ask what you're doing here, sir? Can I ask what you're doing here, please? Can I get, ask what you're doing here, please?
now they're getting behind me. They're trying to intimidate me. Keep watching my back, everyone. Touch me, it's not gonna go well, buddy. I haven't touched you no I'm more than you. I'm warning you. Huh? Well, I'm warning you. I asked you to leave. Ask me to leave a public sidewalk. I've asked you to quit filming.
residential area, public sidewalk. said I just stuck it up in his face. Why are you lying to the cop, man? I never stuck my camera in your face. You circling me in a circle? See the cop shaking his head. The camera doesn't lie, buddy. Can I get your name and badge number? Excuse me, officer. Officer, can I get your name and badge number? Excuse me, officer. Officer, I need your name and badge number. Really? You're getting a fucking complaint? Fucking pig! So I stuck the camera in your face, buddy? You want to re rethink that? You want to rethink that statement? I stuck the camera in your face? Yeah. No, I'm, that's exactly my statement. All right. So back up. You back up, you piece of shit. Come close to me. See what happens. Do it, buddy. Hit me. Do it. I'm going to stay here all day now. Can I just, can I ask you? Just don't touch me, man. I, my head, can, what's your name? What are you doing? That's all I want to know. I'm not here to argue with you or anything. You guys called the cops on me because I walked down the street with my cameras. Your buddy got in my face and intimidated me. Okay. I'm I don't just, want to deal I'm with you right now. To... You're walking up aggressively. Cry baby's running. A few moments later. Are you? How are you? Uh, try to see what your name is. I'm Tim Griffin. I represent the Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development. Is there something we can answer for you or help you with? Because we'll answer anything you'd like to answer. Once again, I'm Timothy Griffin with the Page and Chamber and Economic Development. You're filming one of our industries. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd like to answer them for you or get you any answers that, that you need. So if you'll just ask us any questions, I'll uh, meet with the management and owners of this industry and get you any answers or get you access to what you need. Is there anything we can help you with? I'm Timothy Griffin with the Page and Chamber of Commerce. I represent the industries and the businesses in Page in South Carolina. Is there anything, sir, that we can help you with? I've got all day, sir. I'm Timothy Griffin with the Page and Chamber of Commerce. Is there anything we can help you with to answer? I can go around the other side. Did you get it? with you. I've got no, no other thing to do.
Timothy Griffin, Page and Chamber of Commerce. I represent the industries in the Page and South Carolina area. If there's a situation that we can answer or get you access or get you questions, please let us know. due to public photographers. See how far he goes. He's an old timer, so I don't give him long. He just left his car parked in the middle of the road. This is stalking what they're doing to me. I've got all day. They said they got all day. Or get him in contact with the owners of the company and he 
He just keeps filming my tag, my VIN number, so I'll follow him to the end of the earth. You hear that, everyone? Oh, the police are over here. I think that's a cop. Maybe not. everyone should we start an estada with these guys let's do it we're going back now he's got his camera out so we're both going to do audits Now. Uh, he's filming inside here and we do not know who he is. He's filming our industries. If you'd like to call Dean down at the police department or ask him to leave. How are you doing today, sir? Good, how are you, sir? I'm good. Excuse my grandfather. He's on he's on the wrong medication right now. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I'm... <laughs> it's a problem. Mark Tucker's outside too. Yeah. It's a problem. Thank you too. Oh no, you're fine. You look very nice today. I like your hair. See, he's exercising his rights in the post office too, everyone. Excuse my grandfather, he didn't change his diaper. He's, it might be a little stinky in we don't here. Industries. Well, it's anybody else, but he's a... See, he's inciting violence. Get another Patreon's man. We're not done yet. We gotta go. I'm not done. I want to see how far we can take this guy. Hey, excuse me, sir. Yeah. By chance, do you know what I'm doing? No, I do not. Uh, First Amendment audit. Yeah. Film in public, public places. I understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You guys did great. Like, you you didn't scream at me. You didn't. He's yeah. been following me since the plant. Yeah. He, They've been chasing me, circling me, threatening me. Yeah. And I came in here. I was originally going to come here second. But, you know, you did awesome. I was going to buy a stamp, but. 
understand. They're kind of lunatics. Yeah, I understand. You got the right. I understand it. Yes, I appreciate it, man. Yes, Thank sir. you. Right, it's a nice sound. Me and him did a First Amendment audit together, everyone. I'm teaching them. I think he's on the phone with the cops telling them I get got all the VIN numbers and tag numbers, but he's forgetting to tell them that he's been following me forever. As long as he stays on uh, sidewalks and uh, that type of situation, but we're just monitoring to see if he goes on anybody's private property. I mean, Fourth Amendment, First Amendment, whatever. I mean, he can stay on sidewalks, uh, town properties, that type of situation, but we're just monitoring to make sure he doesn't go on to anybody's private property because I think that's where the uh, Fourth Amendment is. All right, okay, and that's what we'll do. All right. Oh, you hear that? Dispatch gave them okay. Oh, he'll get your tag and VIN. You come near me, it won't be good. Don't threaten me, buddy. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I don't want you to hurt me. If you don't want me to film you, you can leave. You can leave. Got your, got your number. These guys are fucking maniacs. We are. We're very protective of our town and our citizens and our industry. Well, you got his name, everyone. You know what to do. Well, you know, we know what your Fourth Amendments are. We know what your First Amendments are. And as long you know as what stalking and harassment is? Uh, you just threatened that man. Oh, I did? Yeah, you it's did. It's a good thing I got that recorded. I think so, too. You should call the cops and let them know I just threatened that man. Uh, you know, do your thing. You're not, call your, not call the do, cops again. That'll be number three. Anything. We're not going to do anything that is going to uh, threaten your rights. We're just going to monitor where you're at. So we will do our thing. So you're going to follow me? Pretty much. All right, let's go. Let's see how far you'll go. Okay. Mark, I think I'm going to need a golf cart. You hear this? They're getting a golf cart, everyone. This piece of shit's getting a golf cart. It's... Okay, thanks. Oh, we'll get the cops called again. And I'll definitely press charges on this scumbag. You this old man's going to have to learn. I have just as much Fourth Amendment and First Amendment as you do. What All right, I come on, buddy. Let's go. Let, let's see how far your Fourth Amendment and First Amendment goes. You hear that? They're going to follow me all day, everyone. We'll go right to the police station and file reports on them. I got his name because the idiot told me it. Openly admitted on the camera he's going to stalk me. Now I gotta find the fucking police station. Guys, right? They're monitoring where I go. How about this? How about this? I monitor to you when you leave and follow you to your house too. How would you like that, old man? I'm fine with that. I'll find out exactly where you live. You want to threaten me? I'll threaten you right back. I think it is too. Yeah, you should call the police department for the third time. Call the police department for the third time, guy. Be a smart idea. 
better to get them here soon. You hear this, right? Monitoring me. But it's a threat if I monitor them. Pretty sure the police department's this way. I gotta file my complaint anyways. Oh, look what we got. What are you guys trying to prove? That you run this town like a gang? That you're thugs? Is that what you're trying to prove? Oh yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep following me. Come on. Now they're gonna surround me. Now I gotta get my pepper spray out, everyone. Still following me. He parked over there. He comes at me, he gets fucking sprayed. Then follow me for 20 minutes, everyone. Police departments this way. We're not exclusive. No. Wow. That's good. You get close up. Welcome to Cajun, South Carolina. We are known as the perfect slice of rural America because we're home of the Cajun Watermelon Festival. In fact, this is going to be our 71st Watermelon Festival held annually on the third weekend of July. Our town grows from 3,000 to 12,000 people in that one weekend. And if you'll slow down, I'll show you some of the sites we have here in Cajun. Because like you said, I'm an old man and, you know, kind of tough to keep up with you young activists. But here we go. Over here we have uh, Needful Things in one of our antique stores. Over here we have Burgers on Pearl Gourmet Burgers fundraising community charity bingo on Tuesday night. This is our newest store here. And this is Parts of Paradise. We have everything from hunting gear to clothing, 
off. This is our main square. Welcome to the very heart of Pageant, South Carolina. And like a watermelon, the heart's very sweet. We're a sweet little community here. We have a new mural over here that the community all helped uh, pay for. Um, we have a lot of work days. We've painted the rails, we clean everything up. This is the per page of Mercantile. Great store, you can get a cup of coffee. If you wanna go in, oh, they're closed. I'd buy you a cup of coffee. All right, this is our water tower. See this water, oh, damn it, it's quick. Keep up, old man. I said I'm not stopping. Okay, you're passing our mural. Slow down, slow down. This is our mural. And uh, this is the town of Pageon, Chesterfield County. Who are you going quick? Well, it's like a third grader drew it. Drew it. Okay. Now, if you look to the right, it's the Pageon Arch. And that was created by one of our local manufacturing industries. In fact, Chesterfield County is known as the metal manufacturing capital of South Carolina. And this was created oh, I did by not the Dr. Machine high Shop, school. located I think this in Mount Crogan. Maybe not. Crap, well, I think it is. If it is, I'm turning. Hopefully it tells me it's the school coming up. That way I can know that to avoid it. Fourth Amendment rights, but stalking and harassing me. They've already followed me in a one other audit, everyone. My other place I was going to audit is the police department. See how far I take my puppies for, uh, for you, Potato? I'm just as good as you. and your reception inside. So if you're engaged or looking to get married, great place, right here. So dispatch knows that they're following and harassing me. They gave them the okay to do it, to monitor me. I guess uh, this is our next place to audit, everyone. I think this is a disability place. Yeah, disability. I'll have to zoom in on the other camera. are crazy. Come on, Gramps. I'm ready. Keep stalking.
instead of working, they're spending their whole day with me. What a great way to spend your morning with pepperoni. Once again, I appreciate everyone for subscribing. Give a little update. I don't know if many of you know, but I did sign an NDA from my uh, case in Florence. Uh, that was settled. Can't really discuss much since uh, I had to sign the non-disclosure agreement, but I'm happy. Um, just gonna get back to the community and keep doing what I'm doing. And I appreciate everyone for watching. You know, keep bringing you guys content that you enjoy. Yep, still following me.
see this shit, right, everyone? He's trying to get ahead of me again. Shit ain't gonna happen. We're gonna cross the street when we can. on the phone everyone once again if you didn't get his name at the beginning it's I'm Timothy Griffin with the page and Chamber of Commerce is there anything we can help you with so do what you want with it following us everyone maybe we should just start flicking off everyone in the town getting into this guy so they didn't think that I'm with them he's exercising his fourth amendment right to walk around town everyone
This is a longer walk than Joe Perry. I need to catch my breath for a second. Sorry, I walked for a good 30 minutes straight. They're still over there. The guy in the white car over there. That's his little buddy. One of their workers. Hey, have you guys ever heard of First Amendment audits? No, these guys are tripping over a camera, man. They followed me for two miles. Hey, how are you? He knows everyone, doesn't he? Your BS stories don't work in this town. He knows all everyone. My BS stories don't work. We'll just follow this guy's wife home after she gets off work. Okay. We have her name. Show anybody, visitors, newcomers, anybody. Where do you live? All of our area. Take me to your house. Take me to yours. No, take me to your house. Take me to your house. Yeah. We're gonna go to your house now. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. We're gonna go to your house now. Let's go. Wait, I need to six feet. You're a lot closer earlier, weren't you, guy? You got your little thug in that white car over there? Following me? Do what? You got your little thug gangster friend following me over there? Where? The white car that's no, been that's following like us. Oh, good to know that. You know, you know who to complain on, everyone, who to call. Yep. This is how they treat the public, new people of their town. You're, you're lying, buddy. I seen you earlier with that pipe in your hand, buddy. I seen you smoking. You gonna tell her about that? You gonna tell her about that pipe that was in your mouth? See, see what they try to do is antagonize you because that's how small their minds are. So you hear this, you everyone. I'm antagonizing. I guess all that activism made you lose all that hair. Working on, you know, doing so much work. Anything else? Anything else we can show you? I'm glad to take you to any of our public facilities. I'd prefer that you just fuck off. Yeah, that's probably not going to Because I got your name and I plan on going to the police department and filing a report on you for harassment and stalking. Here's my card. Flip it around. There you go. There's the phone number, everyone. Remember, this guy's followed me for a good, about an hour now. Just about an hour. And he has his little gangster friend in the white car and his little worker buddy over there that tried to run me over with his cart. And then he lied to the police and said I stuck the phone in his face when he came up to me circling me. Bunch of cowards lying to the cops. They seen right through you. That's why they didn't do anything. Oh, no, we all know your Fourth Amendment right. What's my Fourth Amendment right? What's my Fourth Amendment right? You should know. You're you keep talking mind. about it. What's my Fourth Amendment? What's my Third Amendment? I don't know if you have it. Let me ask you. Do you know my Second Amendment at least? You're from the South. You should at least know that one, right? Okay. Once again, I'm not too engaged with you. What's the Second Amendment? The I'm asking you. What's the Second Amendment? The Do you know the First Amendment? Do you know the Thirteenth? Do you know any of them? I prefer you just fuck off, like I've said multiple times. So you want to go fuck off or you want to keep following me? I will keep walking my town. Will you keep following me? I will keep walking my town. Okay. Hear that, everyone, right? 
go keep walking this town. He's exercising his Fourth Amendment right by harassing and stalking me. Something. That's funny. Oh, cool. Sorry if it's been shaky, everyone. I've been holding the camera phone behind me the whole way. So hopefully I didn't get anything blocked. Any bad shots, really? I hope it's all coming out pretty decent for you. But I guess I'll find out when I get home. He's slowing down, everyone. Gramps is slowing down. Oh, he's waiting for his buddy. That's what they're doing. Look at him. He's still on the phone, everyone. Oh, my hair's in the way. I'm trying to get it with the other camera. These guys are fucking crazy. I thought Joe Perry was bad, everyone. There's really nothing down this way at all. So I really gotta turn around, like, probably now. But we'll see. We'll go around this corner, see if, uh, Mothball head still following me. Oh, did he give up? No, he's way back there, though. Oh, I think that's one of their workers right there. Maybe. Grant is falling behind everyone. Some of these uh, towns in the south remind me a lot of uh, Madison, North Carolina, with the whole blind justice fiasco. It's just the mentality of the people. They think they own the place. They think they, they can walk all over you. Still down there, everyone. Come on, Grandpa! You stalker! They're trying to chase me out of the town, everyone. There's nothing over this way. That leads to farmland and sticks. And that's about it. Maybe some twigs and bushes over there, but civilization definitely not. So we gotta start heading back in the city.
Must be his boyfriend. Look out for that white car, everyone. It's still following me. Still on the phone too. This might be one of them in the truck right here. I'm not sure. You gotta keep your head on a swivel. Still following me, everyone. You guys want to see my new car? Right there. It's my new Jeep. I don't want him to know that though, but that is my car right there. So the police told him I'm an activist and they pretty sure dispatch told the guy or gave him confirmation that it's okay to follow me and when I told him to stop. I know a couple of times I egged him on but now it's just getting to the point where he needs to fuck off like I said earlier. And uh, Grandpa's still following me, but he's a lot slower. At least he's picking up trash. Stalker, everyone, right there.
Come on, Grants. I thought you could do this all day. We haven't even started yet. Gain a gap on this asshole. I'm sure there's one buddy in the car is following me too though. You know, this is the one time, you know, leaving your wallet in the car is a bad thing. I am so thirsty right now, and I have no money on me. So a little tip for the future for other auditors, or future auditors, if you plan on going out. If you leave your wallet in the car, maybe put a couple of dollars in your pocket if you're walking around, you know, like a town near some gas stations or a subway and jump in and get a drink real quick hey can you do me a favor man can you do me a favor i'm not getting you on camera or anything there, there's some old dude following me he's been following me for an hour he's, he's gonna come down that way when he does tell him that i went like over that way oh crap there he is he has like a crush on me or something, I don't know. It's really weird. Go around this way. You know what I'm doing? Yeah. First going. Amendment on it? No, I don't know who's doing it, but I know what you're saying. There he is, there he is, look. We thought you got a. Yeah, yeah. Don't let him know I'm in here. <laughs> Oh crap. It's a stalker. Huh? He is a stalker. I'm not recording you. Oh, that's fine. He's been following me. Really? And I, I I walked all the way around and I'm like, I'm sorry if you're busy. I'm sorry. What I know you, it's a what kitchen. Are you doing? I, I record government buildings and he got mad and he's been following me. Oh. So I, I just I need to relax for one second, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does he know? Hey, you guys got good food? We do, man. What, what kind of food? Mexican. 
Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna come back after I'm done with this guy. I didn't. I didn't want to mess with you guys. Uh, can I? Can, can I tell you what I'm doing? Uh huh. Um, you ever watch YouTube? Yeah. Uh, people go around and they film the cops uh -huh. and stuff like that. Um, that's what I do. And then some people around the town they don't like it. Oh, okay. So they come and they follow me and they follow me and they follow me. And the one guy he took a, a golf cart and he tried to run me over. And uh, like I said, I, I'm not here for any trouble. I'm sorry if you have customers, but I definitely do want to come back if you got good Mexican food. Uh, carnitas? Do you guys got carnitas? Yeah, we do. Okay, okay, good. I'm coming back then. One reservation. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Oh no, I think he found me. I think that might be him right there. I don't know. Oh no, what happened to my video? Man, I don't know how much of that I got and how much I didn't get. That old guy asked if I came in there though. And I'm pretty sure the guy said I didn't, so that's what's up. Uh, I'm gonna sit here for a second and smoke a cigarette. Ugh. He followed me way further than uh, Joe Perry did when I was with uh, No Name Audits. Oh shit, there he is. There he is. I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't want to mess with these guys. So hold on, I'll show you. God, I think you see me. <laughs> I just want to smoke a goddamn cigarette in peace. What's up, man? Everyone's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. Oh, thank God there's steps. I think you went around the building. Alright guys, we might have lost them. Maybe. I'm Timothy Griffin with the Page and Chamber of Commerce. Is there anything we can help you with? 